What's going on, everybody? I got them ending numbers. My first full gross as a L triple lot leased on owner operator. So I'm not going to have a truck payment anymore, but I still do have some deductions, some overhead costs. And those deductions will amount to $823, but let's jump right off into what I'm making to the bank. And I got to say to Mitchell, I appreciate it, man. I know you had to pull some tricks out of your hat to get me at $8,500 gross to the truck in this economy that we're in. I would say people typically right now are making about seven to 8,000 for anybody who might have a question on it, but you could send that to the comments. So I got 8,500 gross to the truck and my fuel was $2,440.27. And believe it or not, I knew about this load that I'm delivering to Buta, Texas a couple of days ago that ended me at the $8,500 mark. And I was able to calculate what my fuel expenditures would be uh, due to the miles and the fuel burn and the weight. And I was only $49 off. And Nova Lines, they get their 18%. That brings me to $6,970. Once you take out that fuel that I was just talking about and the overhead cost of $823.49, that's going to be incidental that I'm paying for insurance, trailer, hut, IFTA, and a couple of other things. That nets me $3,705.89 of my cold, hard cash. That's what I get directly to the bank before I take out any of my personal taxes. And that was about 45 hours of work it took me to make that money, which is $82.33 an hour. Not too shabby. If you do the overall gross for the miles that I drove, it works itself out to $2.83 a mile, everybody. This will be my last post until April. I am taking my vacation. This load was the ending load that gets me home, and I was able to actually get this load delivered up an entire day early. If you have any questions about anything, send it to the comments. I know I've been getting a lot of requests to see my settlements. That is not a problem. I will start posting my settlements, or if I remember to do so, post my settlements with all of my numbers. But until then, this is how I do it right here. I keep a tally book up on the dash. I write down every single fuel stop, every single expenditure that I have along the way for the week. As you can see, I always put in right there. And these are my three loads that I have to include that one right there for the week. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple and pretty straight to the point. I hope all of y'all have a great weekend that's coming up and be safe out there. <laughs> mm, Got to watch out for them four wheelers because they sure do get crazy at times. Old Rookie, signing off.